teach you a cool card trick. And all you need to know is binary and being able to count. Um, so let's get going. All right. So the first thing you need to do before you do the trick with somebody is decide with your card deck what is going to represent a one and what's going to represent a zero. You know, that's binary, right? So I've decided that this is going to represent zero. Anytime a card is that way, it's going to represent two, zero. Anytime it's face up, it's going to be a one. OK, I don't need to share that with uh, the people I'm doing the magic trick with, but I need to know that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hand the person cards and you're going to say to do a five by five grid and they can randomly put cards up or down. So we want five rows and five columns and it doesn't matter how they lay things out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Great. So then you can turn back around and go, oh, this is going to be too easy. Let me add another row and column. So I'm going to add another row, another row, another row. Okay, I add another row and then I'm going to add another column. Then I'd say, I'm going to turn around and you flip over one card. You can flip something so it's no longer showing, or you can flip it so it's showing the face, but just one card. So you turn around, they flip over a card, you turn back around, and you're going to be able to figure out which one it is. So the way this works is that um, when I laid cards out, I made sure that my ones add up to an even number. So as I'm going across here, I've got two, that's an even number. So that row is fine. One, two, three, four, even number. One, two, three, four, even number. One, two, three. So I know the problem, the card that was turned over is in this row. So now I don't have to look at any of the rows. I can do the columns. One, two, three, four. That's okay. One, two. That's okay. One, two, three, four. That's okay. One, two, three. Ah, so it's this row, this column. I know it's this card. So let me show you again how that happens. I'm just going to take this away. So that part of the trick where after they have laid out the random five by five cards and you're going to add a six row and column, what you're really doing is you're making sure that when you have your ones in your row, they're going to add up to an even number. So I need to add a face up card. So this equals two. One, two, three, face up. One, two, three, face up. One, two, face down. One, two, three, face up. So now that's four, two, four, four, two. Same thing with a column. One, two, three, four, that can go face down. One, two, that can go face down. One, two, three, four, that can go face down. One, two, down. One, two, down. One, two, down. One, two, down. So now it doesn't matter where they turn over a card, you're going to be able to figure it out because you'll go and look for your even one, two, three, four. That's even one, two, that's even one, two, three, four. That's even one, two, three. You know, it's somewhere in this um, column right here. And then you can go in your rows one, two, that's okay. One, two, three, four. That's okay. One, two, three, four. That's okay. One, two, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. So you've identified the column the problem's in, and now you've identified the row. And so wherever that intersects, that's the card that they um, turned over. I'm going to also share a video um, of a magician kind of doing this trick and seeing how you can make it more exciting than maybe I did. But I would definitely practice this before you do it with somebody to make sure you're understanding that you need to add up your ones so they make evens across your rows and your columns. Good luck.